Hi there, I'm Michael Postick from Century 21 Northumberland, and today is the first time ever Platinum Investors Club get-together here. And I'm going to show you a property through an investor's or a developer's eyes, opposed to a residential buyer. So today we're looking at 65 acres on the water in Birch Hill. Comes complete with a house, a uh, double car garage, but I'm going to show you how we're going to get that for free. We're going to make some money, and we're going to be able to leverage this property and use it to buy other investments. So I'm going to use this as a tool. So if you're an investor, stay tuned. If you're not, if you don't like to make money, now would be a good time to turn this video off. Okay, so here's our market analysis of value. In the past couple years, I've sold several properties in the area. One was about 50 acres. It sold for 375. Uh, another one I sold for 440 and change. It was 50 acres. Uh, sold another uh, 100 acres, but it was miles down a road uh, that the infrastructure would cost an arm and a leg to put in. It sold for 250 or three, uh, just going by memory. So essentially, what you're doing with this is you're getting everything for three and a quarter, reduced down from 400, and you're getting a house that you can rent out or sell off. You're getting the ability to leverage the property as a residential property opposed to raw land, which means you don't have to put 50% down. You just have to put 30, 20, between 20 and 30% down. You're also going to get a very low interest rate. You're not going to be paying three or four percent extra just because it's raw land. Uh, so we're going to go down the waterfront, I'll show you what we're dealing with and I'm going to give you the numbers that you can put on a spreadsheet and work out your, uh, your pro forma numbers as well. Okay, so here's the master plan. And in an effort to keep the video under three minutes, I urge you to call me with additional details and I can show you the numbers on a spreadsheet. What we're going to do is we're going to take the property behind me and we're going to divide it up and we're going to sell it as lots in the form of a subdivision, uh, similar to several or many other projects I've done for myself and other clients. I could do this uh, completely with my eyes closed, like this. This is how I could do this project. And, uh, and if you do buy this raw land, and you either want a business partner, or if you want somebody to do all the work for you, or if you simply want somebody to consult with you on the phone, I'll do the latter for free, and I'll do the first for a share of the, um, like usually just for a, a single lot or whatever, depending on my involvement. But anyway, what we're doing is we're taking 1,800 feet of water frontage, approximately, and we're going to divide it into, and these are all worst case numbers, absolute worst case, uh, because a lot of times you look at business plans and they give you the best case. We're going to say there's eight waterfront lots. Now we may get seven, we may get 12, but we're going to say there's eight. And you can write this down, because I don't have a spreadsheet on me as I'm standing out in the middle of the field in December. So we're going to put a value on those, very, very ultra-conservative, um, of 50 grand. So we've got 8 times 50 grand. So then we're going to build a second row, which would probably be right over here. And additionally, we'll do another 8 lots. And Typically, back lots are a half to a third of the front. We'll go with uh, with 25 grand, uh, which again is ultra ultra conservative. So now we have eight times 25 thousand dollars. Now, e it's typically very easy to divide up to 20 lots without getting into major infrastructure costs. So we're going to take the back acreage here, which runs between here and the house that you're getting for free. Uh, and we're going to turn those into estate lots, or we're going to sit on them, and we'll use we'll just rent this farmland out. Currently, it rents out between eight and uh, eleven thousand dollars a year, and we'll use that income stream from the farmer's land to cover our debt leverage. Okay. So everybody's with me so far. Next, we're going to take the house, and we're also going to sever it off, so it's a separate entity that we can sell. And we're either going to rent it out, uh, again, ultra conservatively, let's say $500 a month, even though I think you could probably get closer to 1000 as a monthly rental, 12 months a year. Or we could take it, decorate it, furnish it. Uh, that would probably cost us between 10 and 20 depending where you shop. And you could rent it out as a weekly rental for 1000 to 2000 a week. Because we do have a really exceptional beach, and it's a huge house. And it's, uh, you know, other than painting and cosmetics, it's ready to go. So we're going to take the house, 
um, and the estate lot, so put a value of a hundred and a half on the house. Pretty good deal for five or six bedrooms or whatever it is, a double car garage, done from top to bottom. Uh, the estate lots, let's say there's four of them, we'll price those at $40,000 a piece, $39,900. So there's another $160,000 roughly. So you add that all up. So that's your, your potential income today. Now you put that on a spreadsheet and you produce what's called pro forma calculations, which will give us the future values. Now this is where I make, make bold statements and I tell you you can turn 300 grand into a million. I don't say that anymore, uh, but I will get you to work that out yourself. So you total up what I've just said. Uh, a house will typically evaluate conservatively low end in PEI, four and a half percent. Waterfront lots, depending on who you talk to, you know, six, 10, 15, 20%. Uh, back lots would probably be similar to the house, maybe a little bit higher, depending on what's built on the waterfront lots. So you can calculate that out over the next 10 or 11 years. So that's my business plan. Um, I'm not gonna cover the house or the garage because we're not looking at that, it's a freebie. And everyone that looks at this property can't seem to get that. Uh, but the money in PEI, the big money, is in developing properties like this. So that's it. Have a fun-filled day. Make sure you subscribe to my video on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Join my mailing list at michaelshomes.com. Have a great day. And we got one more week till Christmas, so hopefully we'll see uh, some snow on this field behind me by then. Take care. Okay, so I'm just going to pan here. This is the land we will be developing. And I will post some aerial photos so you can see what it looks like from the sky. It basically opens up like a giant funnel from the road. And uh, where I'm standing here would be probably behind the first two lots. I'd probably be standing on an estate lot here. So we're just panning over here to the east. In the, in the background, I can see the sand dunes. I can see uh, uh, the land over in Darnley, uh, Thunder Cove area. I did a video there a few weeks ago, or Malpec. And we're just coming over to what you should see in the distance, a for sale sign, which is probably 100 or so feet from the boundary of the property. Now we also have 30 acres over here for sale. Or is it 40? 40 acres, I guess, for 100 and a half. So that could certainly be a complement to this property as well.